I had to submit another maintenance request to clean up all the dead bugs, and that's completely unacceptable. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Some San Diego State students are fed up tonight over what they say are disgusting living conditions at a campus apartment complex. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto and I'm Marcella Lee. Tonight, some students are calling for a refund and a cleanup of the complex. Earlier this week, a sophomore filed a petition gathering hundreds of signatures. News 8's Abby Alford is live in the college area with more on the concerns and reaction from the school. Abby. Carlo and Marcella, this is the apartment complex that's in question. Aztec Corner, it's here on Montezuma between 55th and Campanile, probably seen it before, and it looks very nice on the outside. SDSU says that they do not own this complex, but they lease it. And as of tonight, there were only two work orders. Students who live here say that probably was not the case when they launched or before they launched the petition three days ago. They say inside the conditions are disgusting. Exterminated bugs left behind, a flooded kitchen, a sink collapsed, and dirty water. He unscrewed it, and black sediment came pouring out. Cockroaches in the kitchen and cupboards. We've been complaining about our sink, our closets, our bathroom. San Diego State sophomore Joe Berniklau says each week there's a barrage of complaints on a complex chat group. The first day we walked in, you immediately noticed the black mold, which was crazy to me. So on Tuesday, Joe started this petition that now has more than 500 signatures, calling on SDSU to clean up what he calls disgusting housing conditions, especially at Aztec Corner. Just speeding up that maintenance time is not good enough. I'm not even close. This is the first year that sophomores are required to live on campus, and Joe says that he pays $1,300 each to share a two-bedroom with three other roommates who paid about the same. Last year, it was only 700 bucks. You can't choose where you live. You can't choose how much you pay and what it looks like. You can't choose whether or not you want to have a livable room or a not livable room. SDSU says that it took over the lease at Aztec Corner in August, writing in part, this agreement means that SDSU retains the right to license and lease space within the building and a different entity is then responsible for maintaining the property, including resident maintenance requests. What that sounds like to me is just a massive like deflection of responsibility and a massive problem that Joe says SDSU needs to clean up. The main thing I want from this is not like monetary reimbursement. I mean, that would be nice, but I just want the message to be spread. And I just want people to hear what is happening here. SDSU says that in 2017 it had to move students out of Maya Hall because of black mold. Joe Berniklau says that the university has reached out to him wanting to schedule a meeting. Aztec Corner was not available for a comment. To read SDSU's full statement and also to further read that petition, just go to our website at dcwsandiego.com and click on the hot button. Carlo. Thank you.